Warzone Pacific is finally here and that's why I thought I'd put together this video showing you how to resolve any blurry, unclear or pixelated graphics in game. But before we get started if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do enjoy this video then be sure to click on that subscribe button because we are always doing videos showing you how to resolve issues in games and also how to improve the performance within games. So if you're interested in that, then click that subscribe button. So the first thing that you need to do is if your computer has it turned on, is turn off HDR. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on your desktop and you then need to click on display settings. You will then see an option here under Windows HD color where you can turn off the HDR settings. If you don't see the option here, then you can always click on Windows HD color settings and you will see an option here to toggle it to off. So once you have toggled HDR to off, the next thing you need to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you have an Nvidia, AMD or an Intel, I will pop the links in the description below where you can go ahead and grab those drivers for your graphics card. If you don't know what graphics card you have, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and selecting device manager. This is the same in Windows 11. And then expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super which means I would need to download the driver for a GTX 1660 Super. And once you have downloaded the driver, go ahead and install it, restart your computer, and then see if that resolves the blurry, unclear graphics that you're having. If it didn't, keep Warzone Pacific open because the next thing we need to do is change a few in-game settings. I'm going to go ahead and launch my game now. Once you have loaded into game, you now need to select options in the bottom left hand corner. And you then need to go across to graphics. You now need to select the display tab. And you then need to change the display mode to full screen. The next thing that you need to do is ensure that the render resolution is set to 100. As you can see, mine is currently set to 66, which is going to completely make the game look blurry. And you can actually see that in the example image on the right hand side, which means I need to turn this up to 100. And then you will see that it's using the same render resolution as the resolution that I've got the game set to. If you expand advanced, you can see my display resolution here. You want to change this to the highest resolution that your monitor supports. So I know that my monitor supports 1920 by 1080. So I need to use that resolution. If you are using a lower resolution than your monitor supports, simply to try and keep the FPS high, you will unfortunately need to turn the resolution up and then change a few of your quality settings to lower just to help with the FPS. So once you've done that, we now need to scroll down even more and you will then see an option for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. This is only if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. You need to set this to enabled plus boost. And once you've done that, we can now go across to quality and you need to press apply. So this is all the quality settings. You need to scroll down and the first thing you need to change is the texture resolution. You need to turn this to normal or even high if your computer can support it, but normal is absolutely fine. Once you change that, you then need to find the on-demand texture streaming and you need to simply change this to disabled. We now need to scroll down even more and you will then come across these options here that say motion blur. You need to turn these to disabled as well. Also, ensure that you have film grain set to zero and also filmic strength. So once you have changed all those settings, you now need to press apply settings and you then need to scroll up and you now need to click on restart shaders installation and press restart. And once that has finished at the top here, you can see it's in progress. Once it says complete, go ahead and jump into Warzone Pacific and hopefully that has helped resolve the issues you were experiencing with the game being blurry, not clear or pixelated. 
I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.